Italy and Libya are agreeing to improve cooperation on stopping illegal immigration from Africa. VOA Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi and Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi met in Rome to celebrate renewed relations between their countries and highlight Libya's role in fighting illegal African immigration to Europe. Ties between Libya and Italy have improved since a 2008 deal in which Prime Minister Berlusconi agreed to pay $5 billion in reparations for Rome's colonial rule over Tripoli. Italy is now Libya's biggest trading partner. Prime Minister Berlusconi's political opponents say economic interests are overriding human rights concerns in Italian-Libyan relations, pointing to an agreement under which Libya has agreed to take back illegal immigrants trying to sail to Italy from Libyan ports. The Prime Minister says the agreement shows Libya's vital role in controlling illegal immigration to Europe. Thanks to this friendship, Italy has been able to resolve the visa crisis between Europe and Libya. And thanks to collaboration with Libya, we can fight the trade of African immigrants to Europe carried out by criminal international organizations. The Libyan leader called on the European Union to provide more than $6 billion a year to help fight illegal immigration. Europe should listen to what Libya has to say because Libya is the gateway to Europe for illegal immigrants. Some 10 million Africans are thought to live and work illegally in Europe. In addition to Libya, some try crossing in small boats from Mauritania and Senegal to the Spanish-controlled Canary Islands. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.